Hey, how we doing everyone? This is Dario from Media Box and today we're gonna config the next box A95X. This is the new Android 6.0. So what we're gonna be doing in this video? Config, 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 config. We're gonna just config. If you guys just bought the box, you're not sure you're clicking on it. I'm gonna go in good details how to config the box. Just to let you know, you guys, this will be a three-part video. This one is the configuration. We're going to have another video, the open box or the unboxing. And when we take measurements, we get all everything cool, show you weights and everything. And also, we're going to have what they call the inside look, like deeply into the box. We're going we're gonna to check all the applications. We're going to look quality. We're going to... Look, the errands on Cody. We're going to check also temperature of the box. We're going to let it run, see how hard it runs the box. We're going to check the wattage of the box, see how much it consumes the box when it's uh, plug it in, when you leave it overnight. So we try to get all the hardware and software detail. There will be a different software. So if you guys planning to buy the box, if you guys want to see what's going on, that will be all these videos. So beyond this point now, every time I show a new box now, when you new hardware will be three parts video. We got them, the, the I, um, we call it the unboxing setup deep into the box. All right, guys, so let's get into it. So today we're gonna go into the configuration. So we go settings, first thing you gotta do before you like to see videos. Network. If you guys are going to connect to Ethernet, means you got a physical cable connect to your modem, to your router, you don't need even to click there. Just forget about it. Not waste time. Not click on it. But most of the people got Wi-Fi. So we're going to click on it. And we see here, now connected. So, okay. So we click on it. We connect it. And we see that there. Mistake number one. People tend to click here. Click it, click it. Nothing happened. What, what is not going on? See it all. Turn it on. Okay, so if you pay attention around the bottom, it says Wi-Fi device is off. So you click here, you turn it on. Believe it or not, there's a lot of people send me emails. I cannot connect. My Wi-Fi is not working. And the problem is you need to turn it on. Okay, so scanning. It should connect to my network since I already did before. Okay, so it's connect. In that case, you will choose your network and you enter your password. So that's done. We exit. Next one, display, resolution, just want to point a few things here. Okay, here, auto switch, by default it's always auto switch, okay? You can if you can turn it off, you switch a manual. Be careful when you switch manual. I have a lot of users, and most of this will happen in the 4.4 and then Android 5.1. This one has like a safety, it will give you like 12 seconds, and then it will go back into a regular screen, most like Windows. So let's see now if I turn it off and I go into a different resolution and let's imagine my screen is not syncing. Yeah, 12 seconds. So technically if not syncing, it will be all black, but if you let it, let it be for 12 seconds, well, it should be back into my 1080. Why I'm saying this? Because believe it or not, there's a lot of people, they, they, they have a normal or maybe one that just syncs to 720 and this they go they go automatically they go on manual and they say why not i want to go 1080 and they push 1080 and now what happened it no longer sync to your screen you get a black screen you think your back is damaged and the only way to fix it you need another display and then you're gonna if you don't have one in your house you're gonna have to go to your friend's house or whatever to plug it in switch this in automatically and that's the only thing to be done now, in uh, Android 6.0, we had that safety mechanism. It's real nice. Now, this one is off by default. We're going to turn it on. Deep colors. You can turn it on and see if you like it. All right. Um, the screen position. Yes, always check this one. Do a little calibration and check. You see here, 100%. Just look. With some of the TVs, maybe it's off. So check here by just zooming on the screen. You see the border, not just the border. It needs to be only done one time. 
and that's saying you don't need to go back here. A screen, a screen rotation, except if you have some crazy screen you want to rotate, you don't need to clock nothing there, nothing there. This one, the dynamic range, is actually off by default. I will turn it on, why not? Because if you got a video or picture they are in a high dynamic range, you, it will look real nice. So we leave it on. And, uh, something happened there. So it's nothing to do here. A segment shoot is on. Should be on by default. Only thing you want to play here if you're planning to connect. You can leave an automatic limitation and nothing to worry about it. If you're planning to connect to, it, to a receiver and this box is not fiber optic, it's a coaxial cable 1A, 1A, um, 50 ohm and normally is a 1a to 1 rca in the system and your receiver should be an rca connected so it's a male to male cable and then you can switch it there and then the case you send the video to the hdmi and you send the send the sound so through your regular uh, digital if you got a regular system and analog you can use the 1A connection, a regular 1A connection for video and audio. And left and right, that's the red, red and white. White is left, red is right. And you can use the analog and output to connect to any receiver, like old school. That will be end there. Apps, here we're going to uninstall and we're going to check permissions. Not much to do here. Here we can actually go to uninstall any application you guys want. You can clean your cache on Cody. You can clean your cache and not clean data. When you clean data, you delete everything. If you guys are interested, I have a great video. I'll show you this great app to maintain your Cody. Self-maintain, install it once it's done. I'm going to leave the, I'm going to put the link now. No worry, all the links I'm talking about, all these things will be on the comments of the video so you guys in the end of the video check the comments and I have all the description always in my videos when I start talking about some type of software it will always be there okay so we can check permissions nothing to do if you want to be a little picky you can just go here and check permissions as part of the 6 uh, 6.0 um, Android you can allow on block any application to use the camera permission so you can block on block turn it on or turn it off you can deny or whatever you guys want to do technically and even play around with this it's possible some user wants to check and wants to close some permission so that will be on the permission section okay and that we end it here next one the storage and reset there are two things we can do here we can factory reset we click once we click again and we reset the box now you will say to me why you want to do this well because I went crazy and I download 100 apps. And I, I don't want to delete the 100 apps. I'm, you know, or I make so many mistakes or I change so many things in the box. I want to reset. I want to have it like the day I bought it from the mail. So you click reset and all done. Now, just warning. If you get to play a game, the score, if you guys have Cody, you everything will be gone forever. No way to get those things back. So back it up. Now here we said internal storage, we click on it, we can see what, and a quick on me. Okay, so we can, uh, I just press that and went up. So we can see what we're using. But the nice thing is, and this is in uh, 6.0 uh, Android, didn't happen in 5.1 or 4.4. They said, I'm going to install uh, in a USB port, uh, a USB drive, 3 gigabytes. So pay attention to the screen. We can install a four terabyte, we can install 150 meg, whatever you want. So we're gonna click on it. And if you see, we got this screen pop up automatically. Now, sometimes I like you to browse and I press here and nothing happened. And even to set the storage or the way I do it, I click exit and I go here and you see here they detect it. Let's, let me go back and let's do it. And it, and it sent me to this screen, but some reason it's not working right. So we see it right over here. We're going to click on it. And what we can do now, we can format this particular drive to be part of the system. Okay. Or you can use a memory card. You can plug your memory card here. A mini, uh, those micro mini cards, you plug it in. That's it. But maybe you want to have a hard drive. 
make sure whatever you're gonna plug in, you're gonna format everything will be deleted. Now your applications can be stored in the hard drive. Just one thing, if you guys are gonna unplug the hard drive, then all applications no longer be available. So that's a nice thing to do if you want to put an extra memory. Um, I will use, I don't know, I prefer to have my own drive with my own MP3s and everything. By the way, on the deep uh, video I'm going to be talking about later on, it's going to show you how to connect to the network. If you got a NAS drive, how you play videos through the network, we're going to talk all about that stuff. That will be the next video, okay? I want to show the people that buy this for the first time and they want to config about like i say an xbox a95x the x is the new chipset okay the new chip that allowed me to run now android um, 6 the other one was the s version okay and we see here it's pretty nice june 1 was released the patch and we see here the 6.01 one of the latest version okay that's it some information for the box Save time and day. That much. Do here once. Come here. Click time. Time zone. Check your time zone. Pacific, East Coast, whatever you guys want to click on it. Done. It will pull the time every time it's connected to the internet. Okay. We go back. Another one. Language. So we know. Language. You set your language. Keyboard. You can make changes to the keyboard. If you set dif different language, you can load up any any type of language. Normally, I don't use none of this. I just you can unplug any US any USB keyboard, wireless keyboard. USB works perfect, beautiful. That's what actually what I'm using for this box because you see me flying with the mouse and have people say, "How is possible that you move that mouse so fast?" Uh, Twenty bucks. Uh, keyboard and mouse Logitech, real cheap stuff actually this is from my uh, Unix machine and I took it from my Unix machine and I put it here okay, nothing to do here no. the power this uh, power key, actually I have to try it and I'm going to talk in the next video because this type of boxes don't have any power switch it's actually you have to physically unplug to shut it off it goes to standby mode it will not never goes off so I don't think this this will work. This is most like the, for the phone system. I don't think this does anything to the box. I will try and I will promise I will talk about it in the next video. I didn't have time to try it. Here, you guys will know if you need this in case you know you need to uh, 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 text to speech. This is like if you want to see funds bigger. Okay, so before we go to most settings, remote control, nothing to do here. Okay. Your remote control is already programmed for the box. It will work straight out of the box. I see infrared anyway. So nothing to do there. Location. It will put the location from the net. It checks your IP address and it will give you whatever you're getting from. Not from your particular house. It will get it from whatever place. So you can shut it off if you guys want. Secure restriction. You're going to be downloading. Um, and just turn it on. If you're going to be downloading apps. From somewhere else you're going to be downloading copy to your usb drive or you're going to be downloading execute execute inside the box besides from the google play store then you gotta turn it on if not it's not going to work it's not going to lie you so this is on normal this off so you're going to turn it on let's say you want to run applications from um up toy is another uh, store or any whatever store you want so you're going to have to turn that on if not the system will not allow you because it's all recognized by Google. Okay, if you guys whatever you're gonna do, you gotta turn it on. And it accounts. There's two ways to do it. You can either execute Cory, I mean execute uh, um, Facebook or, or Twitter from the Twitter account, or you can go here and execute one of these things. And you know, it's gonna ask you for your username and your password. You do all this, and then next time you execute your application, it's automatically run. Or you can do it from your application. Whatever it makes you see. Uh, one thing I do recommend is uh, Google. If you feel like you want to download application from Google, if it requires an update, because I'm sure this box will require some updates since I have it. So you put there, and you can update it too. All right, let's go back to the last one. And there's a small settings. 
So other more settings, Wi-Fi we already talked about. I'm not going to click there as a waste of time. Data use, this is for your phone. More settings here, you're going to put airplane mode. I don't think you're going to take this box to airplanes, right? So nothing to do there. Display one went over. Uh, apps will look at it. It's maybe this one. They actually, this one don't make sense either. I turn this off. My volume is up for, uh, for only the, because I've been playing games. I'm going to be watching video. You want that all the way up. The rest, you will see, guys, if required this or not. I don't think they require none of those things for the box. Waste of time. We already looked the storage. Memory. Memory. If you guys want to see what is being used more, if an application gives you any problem, you can click on it and actually see what application is running. If it's an application is, is leaching some too much memory, we can see whatever it's using here. So then you can uninstall the application. Application we know. Security accounts we already did. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, this is actually yeah. This is for the form. Nothing to do here. We're not gonna go crazy. Uh, nothing requires none of those things to work. But you guys want to do something else, you know, you can turn it on. And input language will look here. We can uh, we can back and reset. Now this you need to have your Google account activated. And then what happened is. Uh, and it, it will sync to your Google account. So let's say now tomorrow you reset your box and you want to re-download all the application, we'll do that for you, okay? You can reset your network, you can reset your factory reset, you can wipe all your data from here. We see this, this in time printing. And Google here, you set to your, uh, if you got any edge, location, security, near devices, you will set that from here. Okay, I think uh, we went over everything. It needs to know on the configuration of this actually box. So guys, with this we conclude the video. Check my other videos, uh, the unboxing and the one it's called uh, Inside Lock. That will be pretty cool. You can see a lot of good stuff on it. You know, I measure power and wattage. We're gonna go and check. We're gonna run this application. And besides, something you guys don't know there are many people don't know there is a secret button on on this particular box where it has a self test it will check the sound checks the video checks the memory but there is no instructions anywhere you can search on the net there is none in the manuals not <laughs> anywhere it's funny so i know what the kid is so look at the video it's pretty cool and sometime in the middle of the video i will show you what the secret key is all about in this uh, nice box, the A95X. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please share my video. Maybe it's a friend, they need some help. So share my video, click like, and leave a comment. It will help me, it will help the users, it will help the community to grow. Thank you very much, guys, and see you next time.